morning everyone welcome back to the channel we have got so much to do just today and it's only the start of a couple of day break from work because I work a patch and then I get a couple of days off um, so today we have got 10 tons or 10 cubic meters of compost arriving to fill up the garden beds which means that I need to get a wriggle on this morning in terms of placing the garden beds where they're going to forever be because I am moving this soil once and um, I'm also going to be getting things ready in terms of hurrying up and making a few more um, garden beds. The kitchen guy is coming, the builder is coming, the electrician is coming today and because it is so windy outside in patches, it is so cold outside, um, the roofers obviously can't do whatever roofing work they were planning to do elsewhere today so they're coming here to do the downpipes shortly. So lucky I got a super early start because the soil is going to be here in a couple of hours and I've got tree branches to move, I have got garden beds to build and move, sawdust to move, there's a lot to do. So the trees are down finally, that happened yesterday, but the backyard is basically like a wood yard. So let's go out and do a quick show of the situation now and then I've got to get moving. There is wood absolutely everywhere and I had requested that it be cut up into firewood sized pieces and they've cut the trunk up into firewood sized thick slabs so I don't know how I'm going to deal with this. This is going to be epic trying to get rid of all of this and I'm still wishing that I had asked them to mulch all the branches and still working hard on clearing the backyard just of the branches. I completely underestimated how much work this would be and oh it just it takes so long to deal with and it's so overwhelming. There is sawdust everywhere and I want to make use of this. I want to use it to fill up part of the garden beds but I'm also hesitant to use it because there were a ton of ferns around the tree that was removed and the seeds are just kind of everywhere and I don't have time or energy to filter through all the sawdust to find every single seed although if I see some I am pulling them out but I am concerned that if I do put this at the bottom of the garden bed Soon enough I'll have some ferns poking out, which I do not want. Because of the sheer volume of work that there has been to do and the time frame that it has to be done in, I have been slow editing these videos. So as I look back now on these videos, there is no way that it does justice to the amount of wood that was in the backyard that weeks and weeks later I have only just finished dealing with now. When the soil was first dropped off, I thought there's no way that's 10 square meters. I'm gonna be able to move this in two weekends tops. Oh boy, was I wrong. So while I felt quietly confident about how much soil I was going to be able to move in this weekend, I thought I better get a start on setting these garden beds up exactly where I want them. Once I settled on a layout, it was time to tighten the screws on the garden beds.
It was off to a frustrating start using this wood wheelie bin to bring the soil in. Down the side of the house there's two steps and bringing this cart down those two stairs and controlling it as it came down was quite difficult. The idea was obviously that I would use a wheelbarrow to do this but unfortunately the wheelbarrow that I had bought uh, was missing a part and I didn't have time to drive into town which would be at least an hour road trip round trip. I in hindsight probably should have but we just got on with the job of moving the soil. Yesterday was a full day of moving soil and meeting trades and today is going to be the same but my best friend was a couple of doors down and her husband was walking last night with her son. They saw the giant pile of dirt and me dealing with it um, at nightfall and he's bringing his sons around today and they're going to help me deal with the last the last of the majority of the soil and um, he was talking about bringing his chainsaw to help me chop up the last of all the branches so I don't have to use a pruning saw or snap it off by hand so that's very exciting and oh I'm so grateful for any help I get because oh I was tired at the end of yesterday but I've got to tighten up the screws on the beds that I've already done um, and get the cardboard underneath them so that the grass doesn't grow through and I've been putting a little bit of the sawdust from the stump removal in the bottom and I hope I don't regret that there were a couple of fern seeds that I pulled out so I really hope I don't regret that but see how we go and then I need to get a couple more beds made up because if they're gonna move all the soil in today with me um, then we need some more beds to put it in so it's gonna be another busy day and we've got builders coming in about half an hour and plumbers coming in half an hour and maybe a sparky so another busy day <laughs> I am really happy I didn't get the full height garden beds because these were a mammoth task to fill. Yes, you could use Hugel culture and fill in the bottom of these raised garden beds with various things like logs, which I will do for some of them, but I wanted some of them to be full of dirt, both because a lot of the logs weren't cut up into pieces that were friendly enough for the um, bottom of the um, garden beds but also because when you're planting things like potatoes you want to have enough depth of soil for them to make some beautiful potatoes for you but the thing I struggled with and I hadn't realized with these shorter raised beds is that they wouldn't be easy to fill I thought I'd be able to roll my wheelbarrow right up to them and dump it in and thankfully we got the parts we needed and my friend's son put together the wheelbarrow and brought one of their own but the height of the beds actually make tipping the soil straight in out of the wheelbarrow quite difficult Good morning everyone, it is day 350,000 of moving soil and I brought the puppies with me this morning so they can adjust a little bit more to the property. Last week I had Bird and Raf here for a little bit but um, Big Bird was pretty stressed and she had a first nightmare in six months. So just need to get her to adjust a little bit but it is very early on a Sunday morning. Um, 
and first things first, and especially while the puppies are here, I've got to try and rearrange this garden bed. Yesterday um, it started getting filled up while I was talking to a builder and somehow I hadn't straightened it up and it's not perfectly aligned but it's three quarters full now so I don't know if I'm just going to have to cope with the fact that it's not lined up or, or dig it out again or I don't know. Anyway we're going to try and try and fix that this morning. Got to make some more garden beds to have somewhere to put the soil. I'm maybe halfway through the soil. <laughs> I ordered a lot so I didn't have to pay multiple delivery fees and that might have been a mistake. So there is still a ton to do and not enough time to do it. So let's get to it. So these two here are looking fabulous. The only thing I have noticed is that once they are filled up a little bit there's a slight bowing on the side but I didn't get any structural um, posts to put in so you know I can only do what I can do. We filled up these ones yesterday and to be honest it looks like even maybe maybe that square one's not <laughs> dead square but we did the best we could so I mean I guess it just depends how um, manageable it is and perhaps I just have to grow a lot of things that um, that spill over the edges and the trouble is the ground's not really all that level and I've done the best I can to level it and part of the reason why they're positioned this way is because they can then cope with a little bit more of a, um, a slope but you can see this one's not perfectly level <laughs> in any direction but I did the best I can so oh god there's still so much <laughs> so much work to do and luckily also when the boys and Rachel were helping me with um, the soil Jono came around and did a bit of chainsawing briefly before he had to go so all very helpful but still so much to be done I think this is the angle it might have shifted on after we put the weed mat in yeah it has it's shifted about three or four centimeters which is why it looks slightly off but that's it's manageable isn't it sweetheart so this one I measured it again it's only off by about four centimeters off to the side but just that tail end where Raffi is I'm gonna try scooping the soil across to this side so I can potentially shift it a little bit but I don't like my chances it's pretty full so uh, just might have to distract myself with pots and things like that So I just checked and the edges of this one are now the exact same distance from the fence on both sides. I haven't compared it with the one on the other side but you know like what am I going to do? I think this is what spiller plants were invented for so um, while it's still early morning and while the puppies are here I'm going to focus on making some new beds and putting them together and um, lining up these ones um, and then when I take the puppies home um, I will um, <laughs> birds like hippity hopping everywhere I will actually then start doing the soil it did rain a little bit last night so the soil is going to be a lot heavier which is exactly what I needed I've been coughing a lot this morning I'm really hoping that it's not like that compost fungal thing that people can get because um, I know someone recently who had that and they were in hospital and I really don't need that but Let's just see how we go. On the plus side, Birdie is better this time. She's having a lot more fun, but Rafa is using it as his personal obstacle course. So, yeah, let's just hope everyone gets home in one piece, eh? Birdie started getting stressed when the other neighborhood dogs started waking up. So I've taken the puppies home and I picked up a gluten-free, dairy-free bacon and egg sandwich so hopefully this is very tasty because I'm very hungry and yesterday when I finished work I was starving but it was interesting when I drove back in I saw our dirt pile that we've still got to move and it's actually looking a lot better 
So yesterday, I mean, as you're digging it, you're like, oh, this thing is not getting any smaller. And I know it was because I can see more of the cardboard um, that was underneath the dirt pile. But while I was waiting for my sandwich um, and looked at the photos of the and the videos of the dirt being dropped off, and that pile's gotten a lot smaller. So I'm really hopeful that in the next day and a half before I have to go back to work, I can I can do this. I think. The soil that I ordered was a specific specialized veggie compost mix and it was quite expensive per cubic meter but a lot cheaper than buying it per bag. But when I tested the soil pH later it was actually super super alkaline and that's unfortunate. I was unable to get any soil test information from anywhere before buying so it is what it is. I was getting super tired so I took a break from moving the um, all the soil after filling the last barrel that we made yesterday and I've constructed the last one that's going to go over there and half of the ones that are going to go there. Now here I have put a bunch of star pickets to kind of line it up because I'm doing this by myself I don't have any other way to ensure that they're as close to lined up as possible but I am actually, this side's a bit longer than the other half of the um, yard if you divide it so it lines up with the deck. Um, but I've just moved all the branches that were here and there were like six million spiders which I have sprayed what I can but I am not working in that area today. I'm just going to wait for the sparrows to come and deal with any other moving critters and this giant pile of sticks and leaves and stuff is just going to be a problem for another day but what that means is I have to start moving soil again so and I'm having a harder time doing it today because I had a couple of really good podcasts yesterday and I listened to them all and now I can't find anything I feel like listening to and I'm also like I'm tired I'm really really tired but there's still a ton of dirt out the front so what I'm going to do is fill up that one on the other side. To be honest, that'll probably be all I do today. I might construct this one and lay the weed mat down. Then I'll come back and do a little bit tomorrow before I go to work. My hand is getting tired holding the camera because um, that's how tired I am. So it's not going to be lined up perfectly, but it's going to be the best I can do. So. so this is my little star picket. And as you can see, I wasn't off by a lot when I eyeballed the measurement. So honestly, I'm probably just going to bring them back about a centimeter towards me and then that's it. I'll leave them alone. But I wanted to try and work out roughly how many I would fit along here. And I'll put another one of these big ones along here towards the, um, towards the gate. But only once spider town has been cleared out so just to give you a bit of a bird's eye i've got one more to fill up the back down here and then a half constructed three over there and i'm not going to do the fourth one that will fit in here another wide one until the birds have had a chance to do their thing but for right now i'm just going to try and get this one full these larger beds are 2.5 meters by 1.2 and they're about 35 centimeters high so we moved roughly six or seven tons of soil on this weekend and to say we were exhausted was an understatement or I was exhausted my friend thankfully helped me out one afternoon but the rest was all on me and I was knackered but thanks for hanging out with us as we got our garden beds constructed and ready to go and we'll see you in the next video. Oh,